My background is in mechanics, physics, and chemistry of materials. I'm interested in how materials behave. The waste is a really important problem. The amount of waste we generate is surpassed all of our initial estimations across the globe. Concrete is just a rock and it doesn't disintegrate. So we need new materials who don't create permanent waste. Eight to 9% of global CO2 emission is due to concrete, just concrete production, concrete replacement, waste. And I thought I can do something about that. It's very difficult to get rid of cement altogether because it's an incredible material. It's really efficient, it's inexpensive, it can do things very nicely. So it will take a while to completely replace it, but I hope that I can attack the problem in some ways. Concrete, which contributes significantly to global emissions, is inherently brittle. The main problem is it cracks easily, so it doesn't last that long. And as your concrete cracks, harmful ions like chloride, they migrate and they get to the reinforcing bar, which is, works in tension in the reinforced concrete system and corrodes the bar. So one way of solving this problem, in other words, one way of adding to durability of concrete is to create a less porous and more sort of a self-healing concrete. So by adding the enzyme to the solution, we have a concrete that lasts longer because as, as the smaller scale cracks develop, they heal itself. So you prevent the progress of ions inside the concrete. In the second prong, we're thinking, what can we just get rid of concrete altogether and create construction materials by the use of enzyme to grow crystals and create a construction brick that is similar to concrete. The goal is to have this invention as an additive to the current state of concrete to extend the life of existing structures and introduce the enzymatic construction materials, ECM, as a new type of building block for construction projects.